good freaking hell. Sometimes if you get stopped and you lose that uh, inertia and momentum, trying to get, get resituated can be a total trick. This isn't the way you go down an entire mountain, but sometimes you get into a spot where it's the best thing you can do for a minute. Okay. So we're gonna check out that bend right there, and then we're gonna probably be coming right on back. So. Next thing you know, you're on a complete and total another side of what you were thinking you were going to be doing. And holy shit! This is not going to be awesome climbing back up. So, holy Jesus. Coming back up, man, we're just gonna have to haul ass. One and a half more miles? Unbelievable. I guess we could just hike. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. We're gonna hike. We're done. We're gonna park here in a turned around fashion. Five 
pounds of sheer muscle, of course. Not really. And I'm uh, five and a, five eleven. And I'll tell you what, man. Sometimes this thing is all it. It's all I've got to ride it. Spots like this. I don't know how lightweights can handle this. Dude. See if people can get around. I think people can get around. We're gonna have to. Holy shit! Okay, that was fun and all, but give me a break. Okay, sorry for the bad language. Not what I was uh, hoping for. But why should I expect anything different? We're in the deep freaking Uinta Mountains, so what you get? Whew. We got the car stuck here a long ways down this road. Uh, I'm going to retreat back up the road here to try to obtain contact with search and rescue and get them headed this way. Um, do you have a watch? Do you know what time it is? 1248. Okay. Um, but no, I promise you, uh, we will get a helicopter coming your way or somebody else that will be coming to you within a couple hours, okay? I'm not just gonna go home and go to bed and <laughs> you. let you guys hang out out here. My name is Jeremy. So I've been following these bald car tires all the way down this road. I thought it was just a pickup truck with bald tires. I come around this corner, I'm down here looking for a fishing hole. I parked my motorcycle up here, oh, a half mile. And uh, come around this corner, freaking lady and her two kids. Holy shit. We are miles away. There's no way that she's ever gonna get that car out of here. I am pretty sure that car is gonna be abandoned here. I could be wrong, but holy shit, look at this. There's all these different spots up here where the, all these little shoe prints got out and were you know hiking around looking around i figured they were spotting this truck to get down this area but holy shit dude she was on her way to a i don't know some town some native village or something i think she took the wrong turn and just kept going <laughs> oh, wow no idea. Yeah, I got within half a mile of my fishing ground. <laughs> I was trying to recon and I was kind of assessing whether or not I would ride my bike down here. So my fishing gear is on there. But, uh, dude, I was not expecting that. I would call the SOS, but. Nobody's in danger, nobody's hurt. There are no injuries, they've got shelter and water. So, going to, it's not quite one o'clock. I'm gonna haul ass up here, hopefully within an hour and a half, I'll be able to reach 911. And uh, get folks set here to, get folks sent here to this coordinates. So that's gonna be a new one on me, actually calling in for search and rescue coordinates to describe what's going on and where I mean, look at this trail dude shit this part's not that bad but once it got steep over there all the little footprints the lady and the kids got out and 
checking stuff out, man. I'm just going to show you how you can get disoriented in the woods and bite off more than you can chew. Hopefully I'll be able to reach cell service in about a, an hour, hour and a half. And then they can send the razors and the sheriffs and all that shit up here. All the side-by-sides, I don't know if they'll need a helicopter, but depending on how close one is, shit, it might even be Sebastian. Damn. Not a car-friendly trail whatsoever. If only there had been a, a hill she had to climb, it would have become painfully obvious that she was not fit to uh, be on this road. Holy shit, yeah. This is a road that a stock Jeep would have a challenge climbing up and down. Okay. Now, pressure's on. Hopefully I don't turf it on my bike and get jacked up. Whew. That sucks, man. I hate having to leave them. I told them within, definitely within four hours, someone would be here. So hopefully that works out. Frick. Frick is stressed out now. It's a good freaking thing that I didn't turn around though, man. Something told me I needed to go hike a little further. And then I almost turned around again and I said, ah, a little further. It's funny how those things, those little nudgings, those little promptings, whatever you want to call them, kind of guide you through life. Whew, okay.